Good wintry morning to you guys. I'm Jason. This is Old Car Auto Guy. It's another four degree morning. Chilly. And today we are talking about a backlog and small block 350s. Stay tuned. So first we're going to start with a backlog. And what do I mean by backlog? Well, we've had a busy few days here. The last four videos you guys have watched have all been done last week and scheduled right along. So by the time you're watching this, this is probably a Thursday and a week after I'm actually recording this. So I'm not really sure if I'll insert this video there or not, but we are going to talk about the cars that are lined up behind me. But before we do that, I wanna to bring to your attention the 2009 Hyundai Tucson, which was traded and this is the one that would, was having starting issues uh, we still are unsure what we want to do with it likely we are going to send it to the auction but they traded in that for the 2014 Santa Fe so as we come over here most of these are either trade-ins or private sales or something we've bought at the auction that just simply hasn't hit the auction or hasn't hit the lot yet this 2010 Mazda Tribute came in with a miss in the engine and we believe that we have determined that to be a burnt valve. Uh, customer decided not to repair it, they've traded it. And the 2016 Hyundai Elantra is what they traded that for. So that car is now gone. The 2012 Tiguan Highline. This is a beautiful, beautiful little vehicle. Now this has every option available under the sun, including headrests uh, that have DVD players in them. This is my sister-in-law's car and she is trying to sell that so we offered to try and sell it for her. Only 50 something thousand kilometers on it. The 2009 GMC Canyon. This is a vehicle we bought at the auction. We've been running it through the shop and hopefully by the end of day today we will have this ready for the lot. Very good customers of ours, and we've featured their vehicles on the show before uh, from a local funeral home. Uh, his mother is no longer able to drive, so he was looking to sell the 2013 Chevy Sonic behind me. And well, there it is. We bought it. It's all cleaned up and almost ready for the lot. 2013 Hyundai Santa Fe. This is an all-wheel drive sport and this has the two liter turbo engine in it. We bought this again from the auction and when we got it home, that is when we realized, because they delivered it to us, that is when we realized the four wheel drive does not seem to be working. So upon a little bit of investigation, we found out that the drive shaft is turning. However, the uh, electronic piece that actuates the all wheel drive, the viscous coupler, is not doing its job. And they're only about a thousand, I think it was 11, no, sorry, 1094 was the price on that at the dealer, and that is the only place you can get them unless you go with a used one, and then you don't know what you're getting. So we've gone back to the auction. The auction, we're waiting on them to see if they are going to go back to the seller and either cancel the sale or knock that price off what we paid for it. Hopefully we get to keep it because it really is a nice vehicle. Last but not least, we have this 2008 Hyundai Elantra. And we took this on trade yesterday for the 2014 Kia Optima. Now, I've featured that Kia Optima in a few different episodes of this channel. One of them was where we did an actual review on the car, and the other one was where we did a kilometers to empty. So I'm gonna put that video right up here so you guys can take a look, and you can kind of follow back and see how much fun we had with that video. And there's old Bubbles sitting here in all her glory and just to give you an update on bubbles ever since we replaced the wires on that uh, makeshift fuse underneath the hood knock on wood gotta find some wood here no wood knock on wood haven't had any other issues with the heater so let's hope that that problem has been fixed because you know with these really really cold mornings you kind of need heat it's definitely an advantage so the other part of this video I wanted to talk to you about was small block 350s. And the reason why is because on this white 2000 
No, it's not even a 2000. On this white 1997 uh, GMC pickup, we are doing a motor swap. And we determined that the motor had some bearing issues or a rod knock likely due to bearings. And uh, so we quoted the customer on replacing it. So this is the old Vortec 350. And when we took the uh, oil filter off of this engine, there was slivers of what looked like bearing material that were hanging out of the block. So good call on Tim's part on uh, identifying the fact that this uh, motor was in fact bad. And as you can see right here, we have a Reman 350 uh, from LKQ and uh, we're going to be hopefully getting this in today. You can see there's parts strewn all over. There's your throttle body, flex plate manifolds. You got some accessories on the floor here. We come over to this side and you see we've got our intake and some pulleys. Radiator sitting on the floor over there. But as we look in here, uh, there is the hole where the motor used to sit. So one of the things about these 350s is they are very, very hard to come by. Uh, on these trucks, uh, there wasn't too much as far as options in engines. There was a 4.3 liter V6. Uh, there was the Vortec 305 and 350. I might stand corrected on that 305. But anyways, when I went looking, it was a very difficult engine to try and find. If you called a dealer, a GM dealer, they could offer those engines, but they were fairly expensive, somewhere in the $32 to $3,500 range. We picked this one up for around $2,500 at LKQ. So this is just a stock replacement, so horsepower on this is probably somewhere around 200 horsepower or maybe 195. Uh, and back in 97, that was sufficient for a two-wheel drive pickup truck. And the benefit of going with a reman versus tearing the old one down and rebuilding it is simply this. When you buy a reman, they're going to stand behind it with a three-year unlimited kilometer warranty, which is a bonus for these folks because they live about an hour away. When you tear an engine down completely, you can address every single issue, but there is labor costs involved in tearing that down. So bang for buck, he's going to spend about a day and a half's labor swapping that engine out and the cost of the engine. So by, every, by the time everything's all said and done, he may have about three, maybe $3,200 tied up into everything. But when you take the time to take the motor out, that labor is still there. And then to tear it all down, buy your parts, wait for your parts, and it's tying up a bay for us in the meantime, well, for a few hundred dollars more, we decided that more effective to buy the motor that was remanned with a warranty and they can walk away with it. At the end of the day, he made the right choice. So last Thursday in my upload, I made mention of this 2009 Chevy Cobalt, and this was a car that was taken on trade for the 2014 Dodge Dart. So the Dart was again one of those vehicles that we sold. Uh, so we have had a little bit of a busy spell and we're very thankful for that because after coming off of the season 2018, uh, we're, we're very, very excited to see that 2019 has already started off with a bang. So before we end this video, guys, I want to let you know, very, very, very short period of time left for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. We are sitting at currently uh, in the mid 500s, and it doesn't look like we're going to reach the 1,000. But nevertheless, the contest is still on. If you're a subscriber, you will be entered into the contest for me to give you a giveaway $1,000 cash. Also, t-shirts and hoodies for Old Car Auto Guy are available. The first link in the description box below. Uh, many colors, many sizes to choose from. And uh, we're, we're working on right now a few more designs uh, for that site. Also, if you missed last Thursday's episode of uh, the Car Guy and Six Fan live stream, it happens again tonight at 7 o'clock Central, 9 o'clock Atlantic time. So if you guys are available to join us, myself and Grant Tommy from Straight Six Fan, we sit down and we talk cars. So I welcome you to join us this week. It's going to be hosted on my channel. So tonight at 9 o'clock, tune into this channel right here. You can set yourself a reminder 
that we will be going live and we'll be spending probably about a half hour, 40 minutes or so, just chit-chatting, talking about cars. And I hope that you can join us. We're calling it a subscriber hangout, so we are doing this for you guys. So folks, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again.